First into the den are freewheeling entrepreneurs Tom Putnam and Mark Jenner, a duo with very different approaches to their business. Tom is ridiculously optimistic about everything. He thinks everything's a good idea, and that's not true. But then it works very well the other way, because Mark's a horrible cynic, so <laughs> every time I think there's a good idea, he thinks of all the reasons why it won't work. Let's do that, nice one. But they're equally optimistic when it comes to their new product for the cycling market. Perfect. Ah. Okay. Hello, Dragons. I'm Tom. And I'm Mark. Together, we're the founders of Beeline. Mark and I have been friends for years, and we always wanted to start something together. And uh, one day we were cycling to, we were meeting up to discuss exactly that uh, when Mark arrived late. So that journey was a total nightmare. I got completely lost. I was stopping to check my phone every two minutes and I ended up on some really horrific roads. Now let me tell you how that journey would work with Beeline. So I take my Beeline device and I attach it to the handlebars. Then in the Beeline app on my phone, I would enter the destination and any points which I would like to go via. Then I put my phone away. The device then just tells me the direction to my next point and tells me how far away that is. It's like a compass that points you to where you want to go. And the arrow on the screen is what I'm seeing here on the device. Beeline retails for £99 and has patents pending. We launched this on Kickstarter 18 months ago. We've sold 6,500 devices. In the last few weeks, we've been stocked in Evan Cycles, Amazon, Firebox and Harrods. Today, we're looking for £100,000 to help scale our business return for 2.5% of the company. We are on a mission to help the world have great journeys. We hope that you'll join us. Thank you very much. A pitch that's going places. Got some packaged products for you to have a look at here. From business partners Tom Putnam and Mark Jenner. They want £100,000 in exchange for 2.5% of their company, making navigation devices for cyclists. But will the Dragons make a beeline for an investment or head for the exit. Tej Lalvani already seems a little lost. My question is, you've got this product, you snap it on the handlebar of a, of a cycle, why don't I just use a phone and use an app which is quite similar that's got uh, this arrow direction system on it? What we found when we did the market research is that lots of people didn't want to put their phone on their handlebars. Two, um, the battery dies too quickly when I use it for navigation. And three, it's just they'd rather... Well, 100 pounds is not cheap either. Yeah, I, I think people have had a very close relationship with their phone, they didn't want to put it at risk. Whereas a purpose-built product that they like the look of, they're much more keen on. I'm not a cyclist, but what I'm seeing here is a, um, a GPS compass, yeah. Mm, yeah. But I decide I really like this road I'm on. Yeah. yeah. And somewhere along this road, I'll take a little lane or something down yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. But I've no idea if that lane actually gets yeah. me there. I might get to a farmer's gate or something. Is that right? Uh, yeah. It's not really for cycling in the countryside, is it? You could end up down any alley. So we primarily design this for urban cycling, where you're in a dense network of streets in the city. Um, and there, it, it, it almost always does work. The entrepreneurs are having to navigate through some early doubts about their directional device. Now Tej Lalvani wants to know what it cost to get their company to its current position. How much of money have you put in the business so Ourselves, far? personally? Yeah. So we put £20,000 between us into the business. We've raised it for equity as well. OK, so tell me about that. Uh, so we've done two rounds. First was a friends and family round um, that was £60,000. Um, then we raised half a million pounds last year. Half a million pounds last year. And so how much equity are you guys left with at the moment? We've got about 30% each. And just uh, finally, how much cash have you got left in the company? You raised 500k. So right now, cash at bank is uh, 30k. 30k? Yeah. Wow, so you burned through about 560k. Where, where has that all gone? Um, it's, so we, we have spent that, that's, that's money that's <laughs> been feeding back into the business. What, sorry, what have you spent, I, I don't understand, so 
Where's that money gone exactly? Of total, we spent £875,000 in the last two years. £315,000 of that has gone into inventory, um, so just buying stock. Um, the major other areas are product development. It's been a huge, huge cost. Um, and then generally marketing, other costs around, around running a business. Um, we now have a team of seven um, that we pay salaries for. Hi, guys. Hi, Tuka. You probably gather that I'm in the cycling business. Yeah, yeah. With bike absolutely. soup. Yeah. What worries me is technology is moving so quickly. Somebody else will come along with a much simpler idea and you'll be blown out the water. By the time you get your act together, you'll be on your bike. And you're going to go bust. Where we are now is we're, we're generating almost enough to cover our burn rate through sales. We're now actually in a position where we can keep on going along as we are and we're not going to die. We're not going to go bust. Guys, I don't, I, I don't understand why you're here now then. Because you've, you've got investors' money, you've got the product now, Yeah. you should be outselling it. What we're looking for is growth capital. No, you've had your capital. If you've got sales, you've got product and inventory, it can now be self-fulfilling. We can, as you say, self-fulfill. We're able to sell enough each month to, to cover our costs and to keep growing, but it's quite slow. Basically, we have opportunities to sell more all the time that we can't service right now. And with a bit more cash and a couple more members in the team, we could, and we could grow much more quickly. OPM, what does that mean to you? OPM. Other people's money. Right, okay. So you, you've put 20,000 of your own money. Yeah. And you've taken other people's money. Yeah. Um, so assuming that, that I want to invest in you guys today, yep. when will the next round come in? D it depends on the, on the strategy we take. So well, I'm with... just asking you, what is, tell me now. Here I am, yep. in the cycle world, yep. and you're telling me that you haven't got a strategy. Whatever investment we take now, or whether we don't have investment, our, our intention would still be to take this product to scale, this one product. Then any further... Ask you a simple question. When will you next raise more money? The ambition will be to fundraise, to raise more money yeah, when? at the end of this year. End of the year? Yeah. So I'll put my money in, yeah. and by the end of the year, I'll get diluted. So um, from two and a half, I'll go from two and a half to zero. No, it won't be that much. We'll oh, be looking for you to go from two and a half, half to half a percent? No, 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 absolutely not. Two and a half to two. Ah. So on that basis, I'm not going to invest and I'm out. It's a blow for the entrepreneurs as the Den Cycle Supremo predicts diminishing dragon equity. Will Jenny Campbell be able to see a route to investment? I don't believe this product is going to be a success. I'm not a cyclist and, uh, and I, I hope you're right and I'm wrong. But if the bicycle man says he's not investing, the ex-banker is certainly not investing. So I'm just going to say I'm out. I think you've just created a glorified compass, a hundred pound compass. It's not even a, a sat nav that can direct you on streets to get to where you want to get to. It just tells you north, south, east, west, and points in a direction. And I think that's just, doesn't make any sense. And I'm out. I see thousands of cyclists and they're very happy with their iPhones and their communication devices. I'm not even convinced that this product is the way forward. Mm -hmm. This is wasting my time, to be fair. So I'm going to say I'm out. This is really nicely presented. So I think your end product is there. Um, is that eco-friendly? It is, that yeah. Eco-friendly, yeah. I yeah. like that. Can I ask, when you raise the money, are these, are these individual investors 
or did you go, did you crowdfund any more? It's a, it's a mix. So we've got three types of investors in the pool. Um, there's institutional investors. Right. Uh, we've got strategic partnerships. Um, and then about a third of that um, half million pound raise was from crowdfunding. Oh, right. That leaves you really quite boxed in, in terms of what you can discuss with another investor. Um, Could, do you mind I, me asking why, why that is? Then? Well, because you don't have a lot of space to negotiate, do you? I mean, you cannot possibly, with all of those different types of investors, mm -hmm. have much latitude on your negotiation. We don't have a huge amount, yeah. I love what you've made here. I, I'm not a cyclist. It could be that it could be fabulous. However, I am not going to waste your time because I know that any offer I made you is going to be way out of your negotiating powers. I don't think we're going to get a deal. I, I won't be investing. I'm out. So Mark and Tom's hopes of investment head south as their complex funding structure leaves Deborah Meaden feeling she has no room for manoeuvre. Oh well, never mind that. Oh, it's tough in that. Interesting. 